Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about how to evaluate expressions with square roots. So the first page, I want you to follow along with me and we'll do a couple problems together. And then on the next page, there's some problems for you to try independently. And then at the end, you can see how you did. So what do, exactly does it mean to evaluate? Well, normally to evaluate in math involves plugging in. So if you please write down plug in inside that box. So what exactly are we plugging in? Well, here for our first example, we're adding a plus b. And they tell us above that a equals 10 and b equals 6. So all we're going to do is we're going to substitute or plug in the values for a and b into the expression. So a is going to be 10 and b is going to be 6. And it looks like we're adding them together. So 10 plus 6 is 16. Now, that's a pretty basic one. When they become a little more advanced, you really need to remember to follow the order of operations when you simplify the expressions. So think of PEMDAS when you do that. All right, let's try the second example. Here we have uh, the square root of a plus b. So again, I'm gonna, this time, substitute the 10 for the a and the six for the b. And when I simplify that, we're gonna end up with the square root of 16. And the square root of 16 can be either positive four or negative four as our answer. And there it is. All right, so now they understand how to evaluate expressions with square roots, why don't you pause the video and try the your turn problems now. And then when you're done, hit play, and you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say do these practice problems. So the first one we have the square root of b times a plus c. So let's first plug in the value. So we know b is 20. So 20 times a is four. And then we're gonna add one. So remember, order of operations, we always multiply before we add. So this is gonna be 20 times four is 80. And then plus one. And then 80 plus one will give us 81. Now the square root of 81 is going to be 9 times 9 is 81, but also negative 9 times negative 9 is 81. So we're going to say it's either plus or minus 9, and there's our answer. All right, for the second one, we have the square root of b plus c plus a. So again, let's evaluate by plugging in the values. So it's going to be a 20 plus c is 1 plus a is 4. And when I simplify that, all we're doing is adding. So that's going to be uh, 25. And the square root of 25 is plus or minus 5. And there it is. All right. How'd you do?